After 26 years of moving patients around Albert Einstein Medical Center, Jasper Palmer is now the expert on the proper removal of a scrub gown. In under a minute, he neatly encases the robe in a surgical glove, keeping any contagious bugs at bay. It has two purposes. One, it prevents cross-contamination. Two, it even saves the institution money or waste. Now it's his innovation that is making the rounds here. All done. Palmer's is one of a number of precautions, including swab tests for all incoming and outgoing patients formulated by healthcare teams. The mission? To stop the spread of MRSA, an antibiotic-resistant staph infection that can be fatal. In 2007, the Center for Disease Control said MRSA was killing 19,000 people a year and causing 94,000 serious infections. That's my kneecap right there. MRSA claimed both of Carrie Cardello's legs. CBS News interviewed her in 2007 about the infection she believes she picked up in a Maryland hospital in 2003. If they had screening of MRSA, they may have caught it. One type of MRSA is specifically associated with healthcare facilities. Brought in by sick patients, it's transmitted mainly by healthcare workers. We have people who are coming in contact with patient after patient and going from room to room who could be potential spreaders of MRSA. Instead of looking outside for answers, Dr. Jeff Cohn asked his frontline staff, nurses, technicians, and patient transporters, to brainstorm. The approach is called positive deviance, or PD. We learn from each other. I'm, personally, I respond better to that than hearing from an authority. Since implementing the policy in 2006, Einstein Medical Center has cut its MRSA infections by 30 percent, 19 fewer infections in 2007. At five other health care facilities using PD, infection rates drop by up to 60 percent. Just a reminder that problem solving sometimes works best from the bottom up. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Philadelphia.